Hello, welcome back to EE for Everyone, part 13 of the Plant Lights project series. Today we're going to discuss the enclosure that was created to house the Plant Light project. It was created out of a variety of components. Here are the components that make up the Plant Light project. First, there is the shell, which takes about 14 hours to print and is most of the enclosure for the plant light project. It contains mounting points to hang the light from the ceiling or a bar and it has some cutouts for air or you know UI elements to pass through. All right? So first is the shell. Next, there's the front plate which mates with the front panel from the plant light project or the, the control board from the plant light project. It mates and then the display passes through and the buttons can be pressed. Wonderful. This takes about an hour to print. There's another component, the bottom plate, which mates with the power board and holds has holes that the LEDs can pass through as well as some screw points to combine these two plates. There are some PCB supports spread throughout to try and help keep the uh, PCB from flexing under the forces from the heat sink sitting on the board in the middle here. And then we've got the heat sink plate which also takes about an hour it has a cutout such that it can rest underneath this fan between this metal bracket and the fan and give some points for the spring clips to poke through and then attach to the power board. There's a PCB support bracket as well which I forgot to grab but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And then there's the four spring clips, which maintain mounting pressure for the heatsink and holds that on in place in combination with the thermal, the thermal paste. Uh, the mounting pressure and the thermal paste keep this guy where it needs to be. So all of these components were modeled in Fusion 360, sliced in Cura, printed on the CR10. I've been waiting a long time to print the final set of these components to show you a time lapse, so let's get to it.
If you think that custom 3D printed enclosures are cool, and this video is great, let me know by hitting the like button on this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment letting us know what you enjoyed. Most of all, I hope you learned something great today, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!